Hey everybody, today on Rado we're running through Senkore, the pride of Mansa Musa. But before we begin, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that if I'm making rules goofs, you know what they are. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Shay Parker, helping Rado cover even more games. Games like uh, Senkore, which I just said. Uh, so, uh, this is a game set in the Middle East, uh, and there is the great library of Senkore. Uh, a pride of uh, the Middle East, and it is a wealth of knowledge. And as private universities, we want to have influence over uh, over the uh, the library itself. And so, uh, we are, uh, both my left brain and my right brain, are going to be trying to exert influence over the regions, and specifically the four main disciplines uh, that are taught in Sankora. So, We've got uh, four different regions on the board here, and they correspond to four different disciplines. We've got law on the right, we've got mathematics in the center, we've got uh, religion on the left, and astronomy along the top. And each of us has our own little university where we will be uh, um, in enrolling students and uh, making advanced classes. We have a bunch of these tokens which will be going out onto the board. We will be collecting prestige and books in our personal libraries. At the end of the game, we want to have the most points, but points are tricky because they are tied to the disciplines that are in favor. And when they are in favor, uh, the way that they are become in favor is by placing them into this main library, the main library of Sankore. So when, whenever books are spent, they're going to go onto one of these three shells. And at the end of the game, the books that have the most and second most uh, uh, of their type in each shelf will contribute to the value of those disciplines. And at the end of the game, we will score points based on those values and how many of each prestige tokens we have. So if I've got a lot of these, you know, mathematics prestige tokens, but there aren't a lot of, you know, mathematics books on the shelves, they might be worthless. So there's a big push and pull of how we're going to uh, exert the you know, kind of pressure to to keep our preferred uh, tokens valuable. Um, this, as you can probably tell, is a very heavy Euro game, and it's something that I can't really give a solid overview of without you know spending 15, 20 minutes doing so. So I'm going to kind of jump in and sort of explain it as I go. Um, but uh, in short, we want to advance our students to gain prestige and uh, manipulate the library so that the prestige that we have is the most valuable. Uh, all right, so I'm going to jump into it. On my left brain, I've got uh, the orange player, and um, on your turn, you get two actions. Uh, they have to be different actions, and you also have bonus actions, but uh, you don't usually use those, especially early on. What I have is uh, a board with some basic classes at the bottom. I've got a student and an advanced class. These were sort of drafted at the beginning of the game, and it also came with uh, a book. Um, so, uh, and oh, and then one last thing I have as well is some uh, objective cards, and these are gonna kind of guide me, uh, though they're not, you know, determining my strategy, but they sort of guide me in a direction at the beginning of the game, and what my cards on the left have told me is that I kind of want to focus on religion and astronomy. Uh, it's I, I could go in the other directions as well, but I will get some bonuses if I can complete a few objectives in three of these uh, have to do with astronomy and religion. So I kind of want to focus on that. I've also got one for law, but it's a little bit more difficult to do. So I'm kind of focusing on these. These will give me um, like prestige here. So these will be worth one prestige if I can accomplish it, um, but they will also give me an ongoing ability um, that will help me up for the rest of the game. In this case, uh, if I have mosques in two uh, different cities, um, which are you know the buildings that I'll place in this region here, uh, then I will get to you know activate this in the rest of the game. You know, once when teaching an astronomy class, I may pay one gold for an additional two additional astronomy knowledge. It's uh, probably not the easiest to understand at the moment if you've never played this game, but basically if I can put out some buildings over here, it will help me out up here. Um, so I want to do all kinds of, all, like this stuff, kind of stuff quite a bit. So what do I want to do first? Well, I think I want to start working on my, uh, working on my religion a little bit. 
And in order to do that, I need a religious student. I have a single student, but he's an astronomy student. So I'm looking on the board and I'm trying to figure out where there are religious students. There are these student tracks along the bottom of each section. And if I want to uh, enroll a student, I can. I just take the rightmost student available. And this one over here is this one of these uh, purplish uh, students. So that means they are connected to religion. So I will, as an action, I can just take that student and plop them into my you know, religion uh, curriculum. Uh, basically, this, this basic uh, religion class down here. Now, there's nothing really that happens when I take that student. Later on, there will be. The first student you take in a two-player game is just getting you the student. But it also makes it a little bit more, a little bit easier to do classes uh, or to, to take actions in that region or for that discipline, I should say, because it increases the general knowledge of that discipline. And knowledge is useful for you know, taking the actions in the area. So I have done that. Um, and now I want to take one of these religion actions. So I will activate my student, I sort of place it onto the class. And each class has these little symbols uh, on them. Um, the, the starting classes all have the same one. And these are referring to a, a favor track, which is on the top right of the board. And then the advanced classes have different uh, actions associated with them. But for now, all I care about is uh, this one right here, which is going to uh, boost me on the favor track, which is all the way up there. So I lean all the way over and it bumps me up one space over there. Um, and that favor track is connected to a different action that I can do, which is to, uh, I can either um, you know, get rid of these favor tokens, which are blocking up spaces that I will use to hold the prestige tokens, or I can gain another one. And in doing so, I get to activate one of the bonuses that I have from that track. Those are things like getting resources, getting books, um, getting students, and stuff like that. But for now, I don't need to do that. I'm taking the purple action over here. <clears throat> and uh, the action that I am taking is uh, I want, let's see, what do I, what am I trying to get over here? Well, there's two things, but one, the, the main thing that I need to uh, know is that each of these locations has a cost. Um, and there are also, oops, there are also some requirements. So for example, if I wanted to go uh, up to Jen, Jen, uh, in this region over here, uh, then I could go to this first one because it only requires a knowledge of one and uh, the only knowledge I have is coming from my the you know, student board and that's just the public knowledge of one. I don't have any personal knowledge. So that's the only one I can do. Or there's also one over here in Kumbisale. Uh, it, by the way, I, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these names. And I apologize if I'm getting them very wrong. Uh, so there are these two places here, but I'm looking at this one because it is going to give me a blue book. I already have a purple book, and these are the regions that I'm most interested in. So I'm going to take one of my mosques and place it in this region. I have to pay a salt, which you start with one salt, and uh, then I get the book, which goes right there. And that's all uh, for that action. Other action types will give different kinds of bonuses, but the uh, region over here, this is all about books. And getting books, I think, is very important because you spend them on a number of things. And whenever you spend them, you are affecting the library, which is affecting the final score. So I want to make blue and purple books uh, the dominant philosophies in the library so that I can eventually get blue and purple prestige. And it'll all work out and get me some points at the end of the game. But those are my two actions. Oh, and uh, the last thing I need to do is advance my student down here. So. There are little arrows. I can go in one of two directions. Now I could go to the right here, which would allow me to take this uh, action if I wanted to. But it is always beneficial to match the colors of your students. So uh, it might instead be, uh, benefit me to go over here. I don't have a class here yet, but I did. Uh, I do have a purple book, so I can grab a purple class from 
the display over here. There's a bunch of classes over here and they all have different benefits. Um, now there's also uh, benefits for having just extra people in your like class regions, but I'm not really there yet. So I don't necessarily need to worry about that. Mm. But then again, let's see. So looking back at my actions, what do I have? Two mosques in different cities, definitely want something that. Trading post with a number three or higher. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, that's not uh, unheard of. With two trading posts in the same region, I'm probably gonna do that. Um, you know, these are some things that I could do. I think uh, I need some gold for those things. Yeah, you know what? I am actually going to place my purple worker into the blue uh, region. And that might be a weird thing to do, but I'm hoping that's gonna help me out in a, the, not the next round, but the round after that, and we'll talk about it when we get to it. Uh, in the meantime, going over to right brain. Now, my actions, or my uh, public object, my secret objectives, I should say, are more concerned with the mathematics region, and then I've got one for astronomy and one for law. I really like law because it gives you these tokens that are kind of engine building tokens. They will help you out whenever you take specific actions, at least if you can match the um, match the worker. <clears throat> so I think maybe I want to do one of those, especially because the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the public knowledge <laughs> has increased. So I could, as my first action, teach a class. I'll send my orange students to the basic orange class, which bumps me up. It's so far away. Uh, one thing that you, is maybe apparent about this is that, that is, this is a big game. Uh, this board and these player boards take up a lot of my table, and I have a large gaming table. We'll talk more about the final thoughts, though. So, I have my orange worker here. It has given me one, uh, boosted me one space on the favor track, and now I'm looking at the law region over here. And I'm trying to see what do I want to gain. Again, there are costs. Uh, the lowest rung will cost one gold, and you need knowledge uh, equal to the space next to it. Now, I have two knowledge, so I could go to either the one or two spaces. The number will always correspond to the same value, but they also, the uh, bonus that you'll get will give you, uh, will apply to different actions. Now, I am kind of concerned with taking the uh, mathematics actions, but mathematics gets you gold, so you don't necessarily need to be getting more gold, which is what the number two region will get you. The number one region bumps you up a couple spaces on the favor track, and if I plan to take a lot of favor actions, that could be pretty useful. But I could also grab the gold space for any of the other uh, regions. Like, you know, if I plan on doing a lot of law actions, I could go up here to gain a lot of gold. And you know what? That might be pretty useful because I do one of my cards is uh, I need to have a bunch of salt, but what it will allow me to do is spend a lot of gold to gain mathematics prestige tokens. Now that's just getting me tokens, you know, once per round, if I have, have the gold for it. So I think being able to have a lot of gold is useful. And actually to that end, increasing the amount of gold I get from mathematics could be a really good thing to do. So I've changed my mind. I do want to go over here. So I take one of my Excuse me. One of my crowns, and I will place it uh, onto this space here. And now, as you can probably guess, these have blocked off these spaces. So my opponents, they cannot ever come into this specific space. And now I'm going to grab one of these matching uh, skill tokens, and I'm going to put it into the mathematics region. So now, whenever I take a mathematics action, uh, on, specifically on an advanced class with a matching student, I'm going to uh, be able to get this bonus. <clears throat> and now because I want to do that, I'm looking for advanced, or I'm looking for students of uh, that color. So I have my second action, I'm just going to grab one of these mathematics students and pass it back to left brain. Now that has opened up a, a bit of knowledge in 
the astronomy and the arts of astronomy, which is pretty useful for me, I will say. So first action, I'm going to send my astronomy student to, uh, to work. Again, these first classes, if you match the color, you're getting a bump on the astronomy track. Or sorry, the uh, favor track, which I haven't used yet, but I probably will uh, fairly soon. Um, and now I'm going to go up to the astronomy board. Now up here, there's a bunch of different trails that my camels can go on, and we're establishing trading posts to learn about uh, you know, the stars from different regions. And the amount of knowledge that you require is shown on the path. Now, if I had a lot more, currently we have two. If I had like five, I could go two and then another two to go to here, because that's you know four, and then I have one left which would get lost. Um, but right now, the only options I have are these four spaces, and I kind of want to stay in the same region. So I'm looking to, ooh, where do I want to go? Well, one thing I'm keeping in mind right now is not just where I want to place this trading post, but where I want to place the next one. Because you see these dotted lines? Any time, or the first time, a player crosses those dotted lines, they will get one of these uh, special Sencore tiles. Now, these Sencore tiles will go into this, uh, into the into the Madras, and once the twelfth tile has been placed here, that will end the game. So, when you take one of these tiles, you will get the benefit that it shows, but it will also be potentially uh, usable by people who are going to the mathematics area in order to gain their benefit again and potentially make them a little bit more uh, valuable later on. So I'm also trying to, if I can, match the colors of these to what I want. Now, I don't necessarily, uh, what I want is you know blue and purple, and the only one here is blue, because these were placed randomly during setup. Um, now my things, uh, my things kind of benefit me going anywhere, so I could you know try to you know spread out. There is some uh, a, a law bonus that I'm going to get, so maybe maybe I try to be a generalist. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. I, I'll focus on these a little bit, but try and do a little bit of everything. Maybe that'll work. I can guarantee that I get you know some points, sort of regardless of what the uh, what the tracks look like when we eventually have to uh, place books here, which we haven't yet, but placing books comes through mathematics largely. Um, so, I'm going uh, up here. I think I want to go up. I want to go upwards. So, I'm yellow. Uh, does it matter? Not too much the direction I go, but I'm going to go in this direction. Uh, I have... We have two knowledge, so you can only really go one space. I go to any of these four spaces. I'm choosing this one, which means I put my trading camp on here. Now, the cost for that is one gold, but it's going to get me two salt. And so you can kind of see that these, these three actions have a bit of a reciprocal relationship. And there's even a little you know uh, circle here telling you uh, how it works, which is like, you go here, you spend uh, salt, you gain books. You go here, you spend books, you gain gold. You go here, you spend gold, you gain salt. And it kind of goes in a circle like that. This space over here is a little bit separate, but it's going to help benefit all of the different actions, or any different action, I should say. Um, so I have gone to this one place. I have placed uh, a trading post. I have gotten, spent a gold, got two salt. And I do want to place... Um, two trading posts in the same region, as well as trading posts with a number of three or higher. But there's a few things that I want, and I'm wondering if I shouldn't also get a uh, another student because did I bump? Yeah, I bumped myself up. <laughs> so if I grab one of these students, then I will uh, because this. A uh, student has a little action below it saying a favor action. I'll immediately get to take a favor action. I'm not too far along the favor track, so my options are get a book of my choice or gain a gold or a salt. That's not super interesting to me. 
I think instead I would want to uh, go somewhere else and do, maybe do something else. In, instead, I want to start putting books in the library. And so my uh, second action is I'm going to establish an advanced class. I've got a blue book and a purple book. So I could grab any of these uh, books as long as, um, well, I, I grab any of the books, any of the purple or, uh, any of the purple or blue classes. And I'm trying to see what we've got here. If I really want books, I mean, this astronomy class is getting me, getting me books. Uh, the other classes that are available, these low-level ones, uh, on the this one's kind of appealing to me because when I take a class with a purple student, it will give me an extra two knowledge, which means I can bump up to the, the more advanced ones um, in uh, this region. And some of these guys give some pretty interesting bonuses. And the second level, they will activate your skills. But I don't actually have any skills, so that's not super important. But the higher levels will get you skills. Now, most of the skills come from law, but there are a couple skills from the highest levels of religion. And these are very exciting because they're just going to get you prestige tokens anytime you take the associated action. So being able to uh, bump up on, uh, to get it like just extra knowledge, on those things, that's pretty, that's pretty useful. I really do like that. And then I could also look a little bit higher for something to go in the second row. But I don't, I don't love the options that are available. So I think I'm going to spend a purple book for this religion class. I just spend the book, and again, when you spend a book, it'll go into the library. Doesn't really matter which row it goes into because they're all empty at the moment. So I'll just put it into the top one. <clears throat> so I've taken my action, my first action, which was going, uh, doing some astronomy. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I need to advance this uh, student. So I've gone uh, to this class. Now, I have here an advanced class and two students in here. This blue one will help me out, will get me some extra bonuses here. The purple one, not so much, but it has an extra uh, effect, which is now this class is supported, which means it just has two students below it. And that's going to help me take more advanced actions uh, in the future. Uh, of course, I'm going to need to get uh, some other bonuses before I can do that. Um, but that's going to help, which is the reason why I sent them here instead of sending them here. Now, in the future, I'm going to want to get more purple students. I'm also going to want to get a blue student or a teal student because they're gonna help me get the gold that I need in order to take the actions that will that uh, this blue student is gonna get me. It's a whole bunch of, it's a very interconnected system that we've got going on. Now, right brain's gonna go. I think we wanna go, I think simple, we wanna spread out uh, and we wanna get some gold. So, um, we're going to spend this teal student, to, we're gonna go on to the mathematics board. Uh, we only have, um, we only have one knowledge, so there's a very limited number of places we can go, just these two wall spaces. So it becomes a question of which ones do I uh, think are going to be more valuable. Well, I, it's hard. it doesn't have a, a ton of options at the moment. I'm just going to go up to this space because... And all of the things that we're doing, we are also trying to establish majorities. Majorities of our buildings in specific regions. Each discipline has four regions, and we want the majority of our buildings in those regions because at certain scoring opportunities, we will be getting the books and the prestige from those regions. If I want teal prestige, this is a good place to be. So I'm gonna start by putting a building here. Now, this gets me a couple of things. Oh, also because it's a teal student, uh, I get one, Paper bump. And by the second round, it's pretty common that that's where you're going to be on the favorite tracks. It changes a little bit as once you get past that. Anyway, uh, in this mathematics region, in the in the Madras, I get two gold because there are two gold symbols along this column. Some of these spaces will give you three gold. One of these spaces gives you four if you're going horizontally. Um, but I get two gold. 
Now, you might be wondering why I don't get the extra gold from this skill token. That's because this is not an advanced class. With advanced classes, you get to activate your skill tokens. Base classes, you don't. So, that has happened. I, uh, I've gotten my two gold, and I also now will flip this Senkori tile. This will get me the effect that it has, which is to bump me another space on the favor track. And now, um, this tile, because it is, uh, has been flipped over, is now on its, uh, its prestige side, which means that we are also trying to have a majority control over this tile at the end of the game, and whoever has the majority will gain a prestige token for it. Or actually, we'll just get this tile and it'll count as a prestige token. Again, that's assuming, or that's, you know, banking on the fact that, uh, on the idea that prestige tokens are going to be valuable, which means I need to start spending books. Oh, hey, I have forgotten a very crucial thing in this game, which is that to go here, I need a book. Specifically, I need to spend a book. Could be any color book, but uh, I need to have spent it in order to go here, and I didn't have one. But I will take a free action to get one, and the way I'm going to do that is by spending inspiration. We both start with one, and one of the ways you spend, uh, uh, one of the ways that inspiration can be used is to spend it for a book. So I'm just going to spend a book and uh, I'll, I'll say that I had done that before I'd taken this action, and then when I go here, I have to spend that book to um, place on the space. So, I have now gotten that book here. Man, I don't have any books, and I don't have a good way to get them. So maybe I need purple students. Oh yeah, sorry, I also need to advance the student. I'm going to advance them here. So I can get purple students. That will help me get books. The other way that I can get books is a very advanced law token uh, will get me there. Um, and that's not terrible, um, but, you know, it, it's, it's a bit of a thing. However, I have, I want to get a few books. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this purple student. I'm going to go here. In the future, I can go to the purple, uh, to the religion area, and get some books that way. I'll need to spend salt for it, which I am actually trying to get more of, but that's not my concern at the moment. I uh, have taken the student. That will help me get books in the future, but I can also get a book right now because by taking this student, I have triggered a favor action. So I can either get rid of one of these tokens or I can get another token. You don't want these. These are bad. Um, Right now, it's fine because I have nothing in these tracks, but they block up the spots. So I'm getting another token, and now I'm taking one of the actions along this favor track. Uh, the Each track, uh, each space in the track, because you might not be able to see it um, if you don't have uh, microscope eyes, is, uh, gives me a different kind of bonus. First, tra first spot is a gold or a salt. Second is a book. Third is I can take a student from anywhere. And importantly, that can trigger some uh, scoring opportunities. So for example, if I took this student, then that would trigger, uh, one, it would place this token into the overflow area of the law space. There's a little token or a little uh, symbol here saying, goes to the overflow space, overflow area of the law space. And the first time anyone goes to one of these top rows, they're going to get everything in the overflow area. I have a feeling that's going to be me. So I kind of want to populate the overflow areas. <laughs> um, the other thing that this will trigger is book majority. So I would then be looking at each of these regions, seeing who has the majority in each of the four regions. And if you have the majority, like I have here, I would get a book. Well, oh, I get a teal book that way. The other books are going to go to the overflow area because no one claimed them. So that's going to make this area very juicy. And currently, left brain has no means of getting there. Meanwhile, I have the three knowledge from uh, the public, and I also have one knowledge from having placed a crown. Placing any of these buildings gives you knowledge in those disciplines. So I think I'm going to do that. 
That's a little bit of a spicy move, I think, but it's giving me more students, which is you know, helping me get more actions. And I'm gonna get this book because I get I win the you know uh, majority of um, uh, I win the majority of that region. Um, and I uh, now place these other books and this prestige token in the teal overflow areas. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna be able to get there before Left Brain does. It's a bit of a gamble, but I think it's a safe bet. Um, so, oh yeah, I guess uh, when I went to this wall piece, I could have paid the teal, I don't, or I could have paid the orange book, I didn't need to pay a teal book, but I want teal because I, I, I wanna focus on both of these and maybe I wanted to save my orange, maybe. See, maybe I sure didn't forget. Yeah, don't worry about that. Um, so those are my two actions, passing it back to Left Brain. Now I see what he did and I'm wondering if I have to just kind of accept that because I don't have a great way to, you know, compete on the law areas just yet. So instead of trying to catch up and still probably losing that race, I think I wanna keep focusing on the left spaces over here. So I'm going to uh, take an astronomy action. Now, uh, because this is an advanced class, it's got a few different rules. If I had any skills, I would get to, uh, to use all of the skills, but I don't. But on top of that, I do gain a book. So I can get a book of my choice. I think I wanna grab, ooh, what do I wanna grab? I could definitely grab a, a, t a purple or a blue book. That's not a bad thing. Maybe I can advance, get another advanced class, something a little bit higher up and do something a little bit more powerful. Oh yeah, I forgot to place that. Um, or I could maybe grab an orange book because it could, you know, even if I'm not competing over here, it's probably a good idea to uh, get an orange class. And I see some orange classes over here that have the same kind of effect that I already got where they give you more knowledge. And if I have a chance of competing, I might need that. Or at very least, I need to stop my opponent from getting them. Unfortunately, the other ones that are available also give bonuses like that. So I don't know if I'm really going to be able to do that. But you know what, let's let's grab an orange book just in case. Um, so I've grabbed a book and now I'm taking the action. Uh, I have one, two, three knowledge. So, oh shoot, I was thinking I was gonna have four. Okay. I gotta do it. Before I do this, before I do this action, very quickly, I'm gonna grab this student, this orange student. And I'm gonna make it look like I'm, uh, you know, trying to compete over here. That's not really what I'm doing. Uh, I'm really just doing this to improve the knowledge. But also, I get to take a, uh, a favor action. Now, I'm not as far as right brain, so I can't do the cool student uh, grab that they did. But I can get a book or a salt or gold, I think I wanna grab a gold. I actually need to grab a gold for what I'm about to do. So what I'm doing here is I am, uh, so that was my first action. Um, and because I took a favor, I need to grab a favor token. So my second action is what I had already started on doing, grabbing that book and taking an astronomy action. And up here, I want to go all the way to Feds. Now I'm here, I need four knowledge to go three, and then I'm skipping this one to go up here. This costs me two gold, as it shows up there, and I need to have a supported class, which is why it shows two students right there. So I move my camel uh, three, four, and then I can place, um, I can place one of my trading posts up there, in any of those three spots. And those three spots, the first two will give me a prestige token, and the third one will give me a book. Um, but I don't really want that. Uh, so, oh no, it doesn't give me a book, it gives me a skill token, ooh. But the skill token is equal, a, a book equal to the type of what you're going, oh, okay, here's the thing. That's pretty good, because if I'm going for purple, no, wait, no. If I'm going for teal, I'm gonna need to have books. 
but I'm already going to be going for purple, and that's going to get me books. So I don't know how much I really need that. It's always it's also always going to get me the same um, book that I'm currently going for, the same color books I'm currently going for. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, this is a decision because I could get the prestige token, which is a prestige token. It's great. But those books are going to help me determine which prestige tokens are valuable. I think I got to go for the book token. So I place it on that number. And this is going to do a few things. One, it's going to get me one of these, these tokens right here, uh, which I can place onto any of my skills. I don't know where I want to place it. I think, I think I want to place this on blue. I think I'm going to be doing blue a fair bit. Um, blue will get me books. Oh, or I could put it on, I could put it on teal, which would give me a book. And you know, you need books to take the teal action. But in order to really get the benefit of this, I need advanced classes. I don't think I'm going to be going in that direction. So maybe I put it on orange. I'm probably going to go orange at least a little bit. It's, it's a good thing to do. Mm, this, God, the, the choices in this game. Uh, this will definitely affect you know, uh, a lot of the play for the rest of it. But you know what? I know that I'm going to be doing blue the most. Like, I'm going to be taking a lot of astronomy actions. So I'm going to put it on the astronomy um, section. And that's just where it'll be. Um, now, uh, once I've done that, I will advance my student. And this camel will be sent back to Timbuktu. Because they can't, um, as soon as you place a... Uh, a trading post in one of the ports, you immediately uh, go back to Timbuktu. That's also something you can choose to do when you, um, uh, when you, what are the words, uh, just take a, a, you know, a, an astronomy action, but it's what it is. But yeah, another thing is that I have placed, I'm placing the first St. Cory tile because I crossed that line. So I place it in the one section and I get to take a favor action. Again, I could grab a book, I could get a gold or a salt. Oh yeah, I needed to spend two gold uh, to do that. Um, so do I grab another book? Do I try to get some more gold so that I can go back there? I could do that next turn if I play my cards right. Um, or do I, I could also just get rid of one of these tokens. Those actions are valuable, but these tokens will stack up if you use them a lot. And it's good to kind of keep them down so that you have more space for prestige tokens. But then again, I'm so far away from needing it. Might as well. Let's be greedy. Let's just grab another token and take another action, um, which will be, I think, let's gain another book. And this time we're going to grab a purple one. Because again, we want the kinds of books that we want to see in the library. So those are my two actions. Heading over to Right Brain. And yeah, I see some some options for me, but I know that I want to put out more laws. So I'm gonna take this law action first and foremost, and where am I going? Well, if I go to the second row, I'll need to spend salt. Um, oh, but before I do that, if I had any orange skills, I would activate those. And as part of this action, I can either gain a gold or a salt. I'm gonna grab a salt because one of my special abilities needs me to have four salt in storage. Oh, speaking of, not special abilities, but one of my um, private objectives. Speaking of though, left brain can score, actually could score two of these because we now have two trading posts in the same region and we have placed a trading post with a number three or higher. There's little flags on each of these spaces and the one we just placed has a number of seven. So it's definitely, uh, accomplishes that. So now we actually have both of these. So both of these are active and each of them is going to give us um, bonuses when taking mathematics and law actions, which are not the actions I've been going for, um, but uh, it could help us out. Uh, oh, and the most important thing is they're going to be worth blue prestige at the bottom. So 
the ability that I got uh, for left brain is when placing a crown in the law area, I may substitute any resource required for any other resource. That's pretty useful because one of the resources is books and maybe I don't want to spend books that way. But that's, you know, highest level. Instead, there's salt and gold. And if I really cared about holding on to those, you know, that would be really useful. Um, but for now, it's just going to be good to spend things that I don't necessarily have. Like, hey, I don't have any gold right now, but I could still go to the bottom level. Um, the other one is giving me a mathematics thing, which is after my action, I may pay one book to move one of my wall pieces with a plus three knowledge bonus in the same region. So I could move, if I had a wall piece, I could move it to a more valuable space. That's interesting. So, uh, back to right brain. And yeah, we don't have any of ours yet, but we can get one this round, and I think we're about to, which is having crowns in two different regions. Now, I currently have a knowledge of four, which means I can't, uh, I could take a few actions on the bottom rows and second rows for these two spaces. These guys, um, the, the type of tiles that I'm grabbing are ones that will let me move people around. But I need to place based on where I think I'm going to take actions. And I know I need salt, so I'm going to go for this uh, space up here. And that is me putting a crown on this region up here. I have to pay a gold for that. But I gain a salt and or a salt skill token, and that's going to go into my law section. So now whenever I use a law advanced class, I'm going to gain a salt. And because I want to have four salt for one of my objectives, that's going to help me out. And also, I now have two crowns in different regions. So that is going to give me a law prestige token at the end of the game. But it'll also tell me that if I'm the first to place a trading post in a port city, I will also advance one space on the favor track. Again, these things help you out in other ways. So there is a lot of interconnectedness and this is helping me out in uh, astronomy, which again, I haven't put much uh, effort into and don't even have a student for. But I have taken that action, I've advanced my student, um, and now I have five, uh, I have five, what you call it, um, knowledge in this subject. And I see one of these tiles up here, which is a, a another advanced class it has to be placed in the second row or higher, um, but I have a spot for it right here. So I think as my next action, I'm going to take one of these orange books and I'm going to place it down here. And uh, so I am as as my second action, I am what do you call it? Establishing an advanced class, and this will help me to. Uh, pick up all of this. Of course, in order to do that, the class needs to be established or no, uh, supported. So I need to have another student here before I can do that, which means I need another class here, but I am well set up to get that in the future. Ooh, of course, I'm going to need a book in order to take this action. Oh, oh, there's some sticky things. It might take a little while to get going, but I am on track towards getting that heap of bonuses. Now, back to left brain. I have done some interesting stuff. Um, I could take another astronomy action, but if I did it with my purple, um, my purple student, then I wouldn't get any of these bonuses. And I don't love that. So instead, I'm going to spend an inspiration for one of its other effects. This is a free action, and I can use it to move my student horizontally to a different uh, class. And that's good because I've got this advanced class right here. And this one will give me a plus two bonus on my knowledge for religion. My knowledge is currently two because I have one and I've placed one mosque, so that gets me two. With this, I'll have a four bonus. And that could, what could that do? And what do I want it to do? Well, I want to establish a mosque in different cities, so I'm not looking to go here. So I'm looking at the books that are currently available. Now I have two salts, so I could afford to go to any of the you know bottom two rows. I'm not really able to go to the top row anyway. Um, but uh, what what am I looking for? If I go, 
Let's see, so this one will just get me a book, just a book, these are just books. If I went here, this would be really useful if I had purple skills, but I don't have any purple skills. So grabbing this book right now, not important. I think I wanna go to one of these other spaces and just grab, oh, I guess what is important for me now is the books that I'm gonna to need to get more advanced classes. So I think I want an advanced, uh, I think I want more purple books. So I'm going to go take this action. I'm going to go here, which will put another mosque down in that space, grab me another purple book. And, and that's going to be that. Um, so I advance my student up to that space. It would be nice to have another inspiration because I'm, I'm all out and that's really useful for moving people around. Uh, but what else could I do? What else could I do? I don't know. Well, I'm kind of looking at students at the moment. If I really want to go all in on purple and just grab all kinds of books so that I can later on maybe pay them on the teal section or you know pay them for advanced uh, classes, then I uh, would probably want to grab maybe a purple or blue student. There's only one purple student available and it's tied to a majority bonus for this region, which I don't like. I don't want to trigger majority bonuses over there. I could trigger majority bonus up here, but I want to make sure, I want to wait until I'm a little bit better qualified for this region. So maybe I need to start setting up for my law degree. Um, I think instead of grabbing a student, I'm going to spend this orange book and, you know, orange is already established in this space. This kind of cements that over here. So I could go here or I could place it over here knowing that I will then be able to put more books into that space. It's just, it's risky kind of either way, but I think I'll just leave it where there already is an orange book. It doesn't really change the metrics any. I'm gonna grab this advanced class so that when I get to it, I will be able to get some good uh, good tokens over here. And that was my second action. So passing over to right brain. Let's see what they're doing. Um, and I wanna do it, but I do need to get into this class first. I'm not gonna be able to, this is gonna take me a little while because in order to advance this blue, this teal student, I need a teal class. In order to get a teal class, I need to spend it, this teal book. In order to take a teal action, I also need a book. So in order to get a book, I need to go over to the religion uh, side of things. So I'm gonna start with that, do a basic religion class, bumps me up the favorite track once more. And now I'm looking for religion classes. There's only one public knowledge and I have nothing, so I actually only have one space I can go to. So one of the things that left brain could have done is if they had taken this space, I wouldn't have even been able to go over here. Luckily, they did not see that. So I've taken that action, gotten a book, and now I'm going to spend my teal book. Let's see. I kind of want teal. I think we're both going to want teal a little bit. But I feel like I'm going to be going for teal more than them, or at least I hope I will. So I'm going to place it here so that teal will be getting, you know, currently has a majority in this row and a secondary in this one, which is still worth something. If you're the most or second most, that's that's valuable. So I'm liking that. Um, now, I'm because I'm spending that book, uh, the reason I'm spending that book is to grab one of these actions. And I really like this one that's available because it is going to just get me a book, which is the book that I can then spend for the action. Because you do get the uh, rewards before you take the action. Love that. That's gonna be a really good synergy, I think. But those are my two actions. I took the action and I grabbed the class, so it goes over to the left brain. Oh yeah, and this guy had to advance as well. Uh, all right, now I don't have any more classes for these advanced students. I do have this law student which probably should get put out. Now, 
I'm going to take a law class and I could, I could do a couple things. Now I have three law knowledge because that's just what's available. I've got uh, no gold, but because of my other ability, I can substitute any resources. So I could spend a salt instead of a gold. And there's a few places I could go. If I went down here, I would be taking away um, uh, right brain's majority in uh, in law, and uh, that would be kind of okay for me. They would probably be able to take it back though, so I would want to trigger one of these majority the majority scoring, which is not too hard to do because they've got this purple worker there, which I actually want. So that might be a good thing to do. Maybe I put it on this salt space so that whenever I take a mathematics action, I get some salt. But that's not that appealing to me. I could go to one of these places. I, I, I do want to boost my my um, religion actions. And this first one, which you know bumps up, bumps up the favor track a few times is useful. Oh yeah, because this is a basic class, I get to bump up the favor track. So that's kind of good. Getting salt. Actually, I need gold for the astronomy action. Maybe I go up here, grab the gold, so that every time they take an astronomy action, I just ha I get the gold first. Of course, that needs to be advanced classes. Hmm. The reason I'm really thinking about going here, even though this salt thing is not that useful for me, is that it will stop my opponent from getting a uh, a lot of books. They currently are a little bit book shy, so I, I want to make it a little bit harder for them to get that. And I do want this student. So even though this doesn't feel amazing, it's not gonna help me out a lot. It will help me out a little bit. And I, uh, I kinda wanna deny your right brain, because uh, they could, if they play their cards right, they could get like a mega bonus over here. So I want to just stop that from happening. So I go over here, grab this salt token. I'm going to place that, I have to place that on mathematics. And as my second action, I'm going to grab the student, which triggers, oh yeah, and you advance up here. This triggers the uh, book majority. So first off, this token goes into the overflow. And the book majority will trigger and now um so right brain's gonna get this this book up here and that is good for them i'm not you know, blind to that but i'm gonna get this book this teal book because even though we both have the same amount of crowns here mine is on a higher number so i win that majority and then these other two books are going to go into uh the orange overflow as well uh, so that is my action. Those are my two actions. Over here, that... Mm, okay, so they did that, and that's kind of annoying a little bit. But it's not that bad, honestly. Um, so I am going to uh, take an action with my teal guy. This is going to activate my teal bonuses, which gets me a gold. Um, I am going to then gain a book of my choice. I will gain an orange book. Um, and then I need to uh, spend books, um, or spend a book, to go to one of these top or bottom walls. So in order to go to the sides, I need to spend two books that are different, and I need to have a supported class, which I don't at the moment. So I'm going to go to, let's see, where's my wall piece? Wall piece right here. So what is my what is my knowledge here? Four. Uh, it's interesting. Now that the knowledge up here is four because of that student action. That's a wild action. I was looking into that. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It just really feels like it changes the game because it says you can pull a student from anywhere. Um, but anyway. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to double check it just to make sure. I know it was a while ago, but. Okay, yeah, I checked it. It says enroll a student from anywhere. Um, on, on any queue, so that's what it is. So the, the knowledge is now four up here, 
and I've got one, so I could go five, so I could go to this space, which is cool, but it doesn't get me any of the same core tile bonuses. So instead, I'm gonna go, ooh, could go here, helps me with the majority, but this space is actually a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna go to this one. This is gonna get me three more gold. I don't even have space for it. Now you can have a little bit of a uh, surplus, but at the end of your turn, this will go away. And now I'm gonna take one of these. I can either take a, uh, a favor action, and get two more gold, or I could get a salt. Salt is good. Or I could advance on the favor track one more space. Uh, going further is a way for me to get classes, I think. Um, so, could do that, but I need, I need salt. It's actually kind of difficult for me to get without actually taking astronomy classes. And so, I think I'm gonna just take, feels weird, but yeah, I'm just gonna take the, the favor token and grab a salt, because I really wanna get that fourth salt. Once I do that, I can start spending my gold for mathematics tokens. And I think that's gonna be good. Also now, um, I have two wall pieces in two different regions. And so now whenever I trigger a majority scoring, I advance one space on the favor track. So I'm a little less interested in bumping up the favor track now because I know I can get it later. Um, so I've gone there, that was one of my actions, and then this guy will advance here. I now have a supported orange class, but you can't take the same action twice. So that is done, uh, that's that for me, which means I need to figure out what else I'm gonna do. I could grab another student, maybe improve walls or improve, I could grab a, an astronomy student, so I could maybe start doing that a little bit. I could get my last salt that way. Would be an easy way to do it, I think. Or I could, I don't wanna advance the, the public knowledge on, on mathematics anymore. Because I'm at a good spot. I've got four, six, and then plus three is nine, which is, I need eight or nine to go to this space here. Or now that space is pretty juicy too. Either one is, is good. Uh, I, I don't know. So what's the other options? Oh, I probably want advanced classes. And is there anything that gets me salt? Anything that I could do with that? Not really on offer, at least not in a way that I could use. Though, since I am looking at moving this guy up, maybe it's time for me to buy an advanced class at the top level, the highest level. You know, I'm gonna start, here's the thing, I'm the one that's spending books. So yeah, they want purple, but I can start to compete that with that. I'm spending an orange book. I'm gonna grab the highest level of orange classes and uh, set that up for the future. Because whenever you take this with an orange class, you just get an orange prestige token. I think that is pretty good. Um, now, passing back to the left, I think I'm gonna be wrapping up pretty soon. So I'm gonna try and figure out what the best thing is for, for my folks to do. Um, well, we've got this orange guy in, these, in this orange class. Uh, Public knowledge is four, I have one, so five. This is gonna be up to seven, which unfortunately is not quite enough to take on any of the uh, uh, any of the advanced classes. I also don't have a, or specifically because I don't have a supported class here. Otherwise, I actually could go here, which would be great, but I'm not able to do it because I don't have the inspiration to you know, move people around and just don't have the, the support. But, if I take one of these middle rows, I can gain one of these Sankori tiles. And that is not bad, I don't think. And these will also let me trigger some of uh, my other abilities. So like if I took this one, this one has this, the skill symbol, so I could you know, grab maybe a book or a salt. It just activates my skills in one discipline. This one would let me do another favor action. This one would get me inspiration. Oh, I do like that. And the uh, this this action here, the, the skill token is removing your 
um, favor tokens. So every time I took a teal action, I would remove favor tokens, which meant I could really just start using those. That's kind of neat. Uh, plus it's gonna give me inspiration. I like that. I wish I want, I want to compete in more areas though. Uh, there's, there's options there. It's just not my favorite options. I think I'm gonna go over here because, where are you, crowns? And then this section. This is putting a blue St. Cory tile. There's not enough of those out. When this person took, they took an action, they should have flipped this. Um, so this blue St. Cory goes out. I immediately get to take one of, uh, take the things for uh, one of my places. Um, and what is that tile getting me? It's a, uh, it is an advanced student. So whenever I take purple actions, I can advance a student. That's kind of cool. I actually don't know the timing on this, whether this happens before the, before the uh, skill gets placed. I think I get the skill first and then I can take it, but I'm not planning on doing that one anyway. See, I need to uh, spend a salt in order to do this and I don't wanna be out of salt, so the one I'm gonna be doing is just getting me another salt, uh, which actually just is the salt that I spent. So that was placed and I've gone there. That was my first action, this guy advances. And now, oh, it'd be a way for me to get another supported, mm, oh, okay. So if I go I now have two students in this space, which means any class here would be supported. If I wanna put a, an astronomy class up there, then I could try to do a, a big astronomy action. The, the, the only problem is astronomy actions right now are not, uh, I, I only have, uh, what would I have? I'd have five. I guess five would be enough for me to go here, but I want to start spreading out. I want to get more majorities. So I would need to go in a slightly different direction. I also need, uh, I need gold, which means I need to take purple actions instead. So maybe I focus on the purple actions. Yeah, um, I could spend a purple book. I don't like this, what's been going on here. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a purple book you know, there to really solidify that I'm in first place on that. And let's grab a purple action. This is another one that lets me advance um, advance people. Now, uh, a reason that I would want to advance people a lot is because one of the things I haven't even talked about is graduation. One of the actions you can do is graduate a student. You have to spend a book to do it. And then you get one of these graduation tiles, which are themselves worth uh, between one and four uh, prestige tokens of their category, of their discipline. So it, it could be really useful in uh, if you if I can advance some people really high and then graduate them, they, I can make that really valuable. So that was my second action. Was my second action? Yeah, because I did law as a first action. All right, right brain. Am I able to do it? Am I able to do it? I think I'm able to do it. Let's do it. So I spend I send my orange worker. We are going to. Uh, oops, that doesn't go anywhere. But I will get a salt for doing so. I am now taking a an action with four, seven, nine uh, knowledge. So I could go to anywhere. If this was a supported class. I need to spend a book. I want to spend, let's call it an orange book. I'm trying to spread this orange wealth all around. Now I don't have any orange prestige tokens yet, which is a bit of a problem, though I can remedy that by going up here. And I think I might want to, because I really like, well, it depends on where I want to place the token that I gain. And on second thought, I actually think I wanna go here. The, uh, the reason for that, where are you frown? Frown, going right here, is I'm going to get a, a free book every time I take a mathematics action. Mathematic actions need books. So whenever I do the advanced class for mathematics, I just get a book. And this one is also gets me a book. So I will always be able to pay for the classes that, uh, the actions that I take there. So that's the one that I've grabbed. I also gain this token, goes onto the madras, uh, madrasa, 
Madrasa. Madras. Madrasa. Because Madras is a city. Anyway, goes on to the Madrasa, and that gets me an inspiration. Inspiration can be hard to come by, and they are pretty, they can be pretty clutch. Um, so I've moved this person forward. And the most important thing, because I went to this top row, I get all of the spoils here. The first prestige token that any of us has gotten. Took us a while to get there, but we did it. And honestly, like that's kind of how it goes, where it starts you off, it's really difficult to get these prestige tokens, but later in the game, mid game to end game, you're getting a lot of them. And what's even more exciting, I now have at least four salt in storage. So I don't have to spend this, I just have it. And now once per round, I can spend four gold, might as well just do that now, to gain one teal prestige token. Now there's a limited supply of these, but there is a lot, so I'm not too worried about it. And that just got me a second one, which of course means that we need to start working on spending teal books. I don't have any teal books now, but I will be able to get teal books through this blue action. I think that was a pretty big turn for me, and I feel like that's a good spot to end it. Now, where we're gonna go in the future, right brain, definitely wanna get more of these law tokens, but I do need to focus elsewhere. I think a lot of my focus is gonna be on mathematics. I wanna put out more wall tokens, get some of these bonuses, and hopefully get uh, more teal and orange tokens on this board so that I can flip them, because at the end of the game, you will flip these um, based on whoever has the majority in the cross sections um, for them. Uh, so that's sort of my uh, goal for victory. On the left brain side, you know, I am still trying to do the purple actions, making these purple actions work. And I think my goal is to advance students as much as I can and then graduate them. I probably want to spread out because I'm not 100% confident that I can really hit the majorities on this. With the book tokens that they got and going for teal, they're going to be able to at least compete. And I don't know that I can dominate the library. So I want to spread out a little bit more. I'll be getting students and then advancing them so that I can hit graduation tokens. So I'm going to have a lot of the prestige tokens that come from these tiles, which would slot into the top of my board, which I don't actually have space for because I have to film this. And so I didn't want to go like this, but they're supposed to go up here. Now again, you have a maximum limit of uh, six spaces, but getting six of those tokens is a big deal, especially if they're high level. And that's my big priority. I would also love to get some of the uh, extra um, skill tokens that just give me more tokens. I think if I can at least focus on those, then it'll be okay that Right Brain was going a lot harder on law. And then getting more tokens through astronomy is not too bad. And then if I go to these other ports, which are harder to get to, um, but they give me choice. Instead of having the you know randomly ones that were assigned at the beginning of the game, I would get to choose the prestige tokens that I that I would get. And that that choice I think is going to be a little bit more useful. So. That, I'm going I'm to leave you with that, um, but I will be talking more about this in my final thoughts, and if you want to uh, listen to those, um, watch them rather, um, you can click on the button in the top right corner of the screen. There's also one in the show notes below, so I will see you folks there in three, two, one. Bye-bye.